A big shout out to Dave on Discord. Thank you, Dave, for the idea for today's vlog, talking about Maximalist and possibly Maximalist Plus running shoes as the right before our feet shoes are shifting to higher and higher and higher stack height. So we're gonna break it all down. Thank you, Dave. Uh, let's do this actually first. Who knows? Maybe there's a Maximalist shoe in here. Uh, come on, what is going on? Oh, my, my. Hey, hey, hey. What's this? Oh, a little uh, three stripe action coming into the studio. Here we go. What's it going to be? The. Oh, Ultra Boost. Hold on, hold on. Ultra Boost Light. There. Oh, I would. I'm get, I think this is definitely maximalist. There it is. Look at that chunky uh, heel. Oh, my, my. Who is an Ultra Boost fan? I think three, four, when I started doing running shoe reviews in 2018-ish, Ultra Boost was in. It was all in. I think I started with the 18 or 19, or I'm not mistaken, but anyway, there is the, we'll put it through the paces. Thank you, Adidas, for sending it along. And yes, a blue bar on the screen right now for the ladies in the house. All right, ladies, over on Instagram, go tag me in a story right now. Take a screenshot of me. There you go. All right, go tag me with that on a story on Instagram. I will give this hat away to a, has to be a lady. It's white. Uh, it's a fractal hat. A gr I'm actually sad to give it. I'm really sad. Look at, look at the breathability on that hat there. Uh, this is going to be a really, really nice running hat for a uh, hot summer running. All right. A nice mesh there. So ladies, there you go over on Instagram. Let's jump into it. Um, I asked a couple days. Well, I asked this two days ago. A little kickoff with a little question of the day. Why not? Let's do it. Maximalist shoes, okay? And here's a stack height on your screen. We're gonna have to have a discussion about this today. We got boxes, another box upstairs. Question of the day, favorite maximalist shoe in the past two years. And from that vlog, Piano Man, you get the comment of the day. So this is hard. As I just mentioned, right before our feet, uh, literally, right before our feet, the maximalist categories are shifting and changing and growing, okay? So Piano Man said, uh, basically we're trying to break down, we're trying to like, okay, I'll just, well, let's just say right now, the Super Comp really threw a wrench in the 2022 running shoe rotation with respect to what is a maximalist shoe? What is a maximalist plus shoe? Or as Piano Man said, what is a super max shoe? So Piano Man said super max, 40 plus millimeters, specifically in the heel, although, you know, four foot, it's coming. You know it's coming. Super max, 40 plus, max, 35 to 40, high, 30 to 35, medium, 20 to 30, low, 10 to 20, pseudo minimalist, under 10. I think... Piano Man, that's a good little breakdown you have going there. And then he says, uh, favorite shoe said hyperspeed for durability, weight, and price. Then I realized it was maximalist shoe. Oops. Favorite max stack is the Invincible for babying the legs. Couldn't agree with you more there. And I am just remembering that um, the Adidas Prime X, okay? Well, anyway, we're going to break this down. All the shoes that I've been using for tired leg running. It's interesting. This is a really interesting insight. As you continue, for all the new runners out there, as you continue to progress in your training, in your training blocks, maybe taking some, uh, you know, aggressive, you know, upping your training, trying to seek out a PR, seek out a, a course record or whatever you're trying to seek out, maybe to finish top three in a podium in your local 10K or half marathon road race, you might need to train a little more. You might need to work harder on the track. Whatever the case may be, you might need to make your legs a little more tired in the training block. I know I have in this training block, and I'll just say, I've been sneaking in this SC trainer every now, you can see the mud there, SC trainer in my training for the formidable 50K, because guess what? My legs have been a little tired. So maximalist shoes, I don't love training in them all the time. I don't love training in plates all the time, like in the SC trainer, but every now and then the, 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 the the legs are barking. They are barking, everybody. All right. So that's where Maximalist has come into play for me. I must say, we need to give huge props to the runners of the 70s. How did they train for these marathons on the roads in these little lean shoes and come out the other end of the of the race, you know, fast, uh, 
you know, and not injured. I just have huge, huge respect for the runners of the 70s and the 80s. You know, 90s, it started to shift. Anyway, I digress. Um, so question of the day, what has been your favorite Maximus shoe, Maximus Plus shoe for training. These shoes are posted down below in the description in case you're really interested in helping your legs get through those tougher moments of the training block. All right, so here we go. In order from a couple days ago, this is what I, what I saw, okay, as far as stack heights and as far as popularity uh, in the comments. Of course, the Super Comp Trainer, 47 in the heel. Unbelievable. Nike Zumax Invincible Run Flying It 2. And by the way, shout out again to Tommy. He just ran 100 miles in the Invincible 3. Okay, so uh, Invincible 3 is, I believe it is available now. Um, I have not tested it yet, but yes, actually, where is it? Here it is, the Invincible 3. I'll pull this guy off, the, I'll pull this guy off the shelf. All right, here we go. Next was actually, you know what? Next was the Fresh Foam More V4, very popular. Not quite as bouncy as the Invincible, okay? There's the Invincible. And then, interesting, Max Road 5, there's the midsole, continued to come up in the conversation. Here's just the midsole, I opened it up a couple, feels like a couple years ago. Well, Max Road 6, I don't think it's available yet, but I know it's coming down the pike, okay? So there's the Max Road 5, though, a very, very popular shoe from about 18 months ago. Shout out to H-Town Q. I know this is one of his favorite trainers in the past couple of years. And then Super Blast, all right? It was not, a, a, okay. I, I like the shoe, I didn't love the shoe, but again, a lot of people were commenting about the Super Blast, all right? There you have it, and that's lest we forget. The Nova, some people were commenting Nova Blast 3 or Nova Blast 2, but at this point in the game, they're not really maximalist shoes, okay? So again, we're talking about the stack heights, and I just want to say I should have made the prediction that in 2023, but I guess I, I didn't make it. I, I It crossed my mind. I think 2024, we're going to see 50 millimeters plus, 100%. And I think we might even see like 52 or 53 millimeters under step for daily trainers. And mind you, I'm not talking about super shoes, you know, racing shoes. I'm talking about daily trainers down in the comments, okay? Yeah, sure, some people do train in, you know, mac you know maximalist with a carbon fiber plate for their trainer. I'm talking about daily trainers and all these shoes are uh, on the feet of a lot of runners. And again, I I like to be a little careful as far as how much I'm using maximalist shoes. And I actually just thought of, but this is a newer shoe, the Gel Nimbus 25. There's the stack height. Oh, it's off the top of my head. I'm thinking it's around 35, but it might be a little higher. Anyway, there it is on your screen. Um, a good shoe. And I, actually, I think a lot of people are going to buy the Gel Nimbus 25. And again, these are all available. Oh, yeah, they're on. Uh, the full review of the Gel Nimbus 25 is definitely over on Demore global running okay so there you go just trying to help get people into shoes that might they might need help uh getting through the paces when the legs are tired that's that's really the only I, okay here's a good point and then we'll stop long runs i don't like maximalist shoes for long runs because on long runs i do like to keep the pace honest maximalist shoes for me like this I'm gonna say like 38, 39, 40 millimeters plus, whereas uh, Triumph 20. Oh, so that's like my new favorite long run shoe. It's right, it's borderline. Now I know it's high. It's, just, what was it, 30? I believe it was around 30 or so, uh, sorry, 35, 37. So that's borderline maximalist, maximalist plus. I love the Triumph 20, whereas uh, most of these guys, I'm leaning more toward daily trainer, easy day, kind of bop along, help me survive the training block. I'm just calling it as it is, all right? I like to work hard. I'm not afraid to turn the doorknob and do high volume, and that's where all these guys come in, okay? So again, Triumph 20 is definitely over on demoreglobalrunning.com as well. I love you, first lady, don't forget. Oh yeah, ooh-wee, 
Solomon Aero Glide. Watch out. I mean, I don't even know. We haven't even researched this shoe yet. Solomon Aero Glide. Uh, I hey, look at that stack height. It's got to be around 38, maybe. You know, maybe 37. Okay, so we'll get you guys that review very, very soon. All right. Again, lady, first lady to tag me over on Instagram this morning. We will send this hat to you ASAP. All right. We will toss it to. Um, we'll do an old. We'll do the the Matrix playlist. Matrix playlist right here. All right. On where we go. Seek beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you too.